Welcome to Math 103. I'm Jay Tal and I'll be talking to you for just a moment here. What I wanted to start with was uh, <coughs> our first section. A little bit out of 1.4 is where I kind of want to get started. <coughs> and I uh, want to talk a little bit to you about algebraic expressions. Uh, you know, in algebra, <clears throat> what that really entails is uh, letting letters represent numbers. For example, <clears throat> the expression x squared plus 3x plus 5, we're letting x play the role of numbers, and <clears throat> so therefore we can substitute uh, numbers as as we see fit um, <clears throat> and evaluate that expression. So let's say we want to evaluate that expression at x equals negative 2. x can be any number. We're just going to choose it to be negative 2 in this case and of course what that means is wherever we see see the x I'm going to substitute my uh, negative 2 value in there. Of course, that's x squared. 3 times uh, then x is negative 2 plus 5. That would be this value of this expression. And simplify that out. <clears throat> A couple of things. Negative 2 squared, negative 2 twice. So you have two negatives, so that would be a positive, positive 4. 3 times a negative 2, a positive times a negative is a negative. So this would be a negative 6. And then the plus 5 would come on in there. <clears throat> so therefore, 2 minus 6 plus 5, 2 minus, uh, 4 minus 6, sorry, 4 minus 6 plus 5, negative 2 plus 5 would be negative, uh, negative 3. All right? Now, um, of course, in this case, we had a, a squared. We had a, an uh, x multiplied by a number. <clears throat> we can throw in some square roots and, and things like that. Uh, what you might also see, uh, well, let me mention this. Let's say we had the expression was the square root of a minus 8b. And we're going to evaluate that at a is uh, 169 and b is 3 fourths. <clears throat> Hit a couple of quick notes here. All right, so in this case, we've got two variables. We've got a and b, and so, so we're saying, uh, in this case, choosing x to be 169. So I'm going to plug in the a, so it would be the square root of 169. Then minus 8 times b, well, it would be 8 times b is 3 fourths. And so let's evaluate those expressions there. Square root of 169 means what would you square to get 169? Square to 169, well, that's 13. Turns out to be 13. Now, I <clears throat> wanted to mention on the fractions there real quick, when we multiply fractions, you know that uh, we need to multiply the uh, numerators together, multiply the denominators together, so what we can do is we can think of that 8 there as being an 8 over 1. <clears throat> so if 8 is 8 over 1, multiply the numerators together, multiply the denominators together, so what I'm saying is multiply these things together. So we have 13 minus 8 times 3 would be 24. 1 times 4 would be 4, so it would be 24 divided by 4, which is, of course, 6. 13 minus 6, 7 would be the value there of that expression. All right, now, <clears throat> a lot of times, though, uh, we may not have necessarily the 
values that we're going to plug in, we just might want to be simplifying. So let's talk a little bit about simplifying algebraic expressions or just simplifying expressions. <clears throat> Well, one thing that we do uh, need to review a little bit, yeah, if I have an algebraic expression such as 3x and 2x, first of all, <clears throat> recognize there are two terms. The terms are those uh, things that are separated by pluses or minuses. So, yeah, in this, uh, in this case, I have two terms. And even more special here about these terms is they are like terms. Now, what I mean by like terms, like terms are terms that have the same variable and same exponent. Which of course these two do. 3x and 2x both have the variable uh, x, and it is the same power. It's no powers showing there, but it is power of 1. All right, so when we have those things, like terms, <coughs> what we can do, of course, is combine the like terms. The way we combine like terms is, well, we add their coefficients. Now, by coefficients, what I mean is the number in front of the uh, variable, usually in front. <clears throat> so the 3 and the 2 here happen to be my coefficients. And so, yeah, combine like terms by adding the coefficients, don't I? 3 plus 2 gives me 5. Now, notice there I did write just the x. Yeah, when you combine like terms, the variable doesn't change. So 3x plus 2x will be 5x. Of course it works the same for any variable that I would have, 4k plus 3k minus k let's talk about. <clears throat> In this example here, 4k plus 3k minus k, of course I have three terms, got the 4k term, got the minus 3k term, then I got the minus k term, but they're all like terms. They all have the same variable, and the same power. So we would combine them. Now, what I would note here, yeah, uh, <clears throat> that one is a minus, but combining like terms when you have a minus is the same as when you have a plus. We are going to combine their coefficients. What we might note here is that the coefficient here, well, if there's not one showing, the coefficient, the number in front, is a 1. So that coefficient officially, we would say there, is a minus 1. So I'm going to combine the, all these coefficients 4 plus 3 minus 1 <clears throat> and that'll be the combination here. I'm going to combine those 7 minus 1 so it'll be 6 and the variable stays does stay the same. Alright. <clears throat> now another um, term that we uh, that we will use a lot is the idea of distributing. And when I say distribute here, I want to distribute. I'm going to distribute on this one. Distribute the four. And by distribute, what I mean is multiply the 4 inside. Multiply, this is 4 times this whole expression. So I, <clears throat> when I say distribute, that's going to mean multiply that 4 by all parts on the inside. And of course, when you multiply, you multiply 4 and 3, you've got 12d. And <clears throat> the 4 times the 2, of course, gives you the 8. But yeah, you have to distribute the 4. Also we might note real quick here that I cannot combine these because now 
uh, the 12D and the 8F, they're not like terms. They have the different variables there. So <clears throat> the answer would just be distributing there the, the 4. If, uh, let's say I have negative 3 times x minus 2y plus 4, same thing holds. We've got a negative 3 on the outside. I would distribute those uh, to all of those. <clears throat> In other words, multiply negative 3 by the x, the negative 3 times the negative 2y, and then negative 3 times 4. You could display it like this. <clears throat> Something like that. So I'm just multiplying the negative 3 by all parts. Negative 3 times x, of course, is just negative 3x. Now I have a negative times a negative, that's a positive. 3 times 2 is 6, so I'd positive 6y. If then a negative times a positive, then that would be a negative, so a minus 12. And again, those aren't like terms. Different variable on all those. That one doesn't have a variable, so it's not like uh, any of the others. <clears throat> All right, another uh, thing that <coughs> comes up quite a bit is a minus on the outside of parentheses. And a minus on the outside of parentheses, well, it's the same thing as we were just talking about there. That's a distribute, too. Distribute a minus to the inside means take that minus and apply it to the inside. Um, Technically, what that means is, you want know, to think about a number there, that's a, distributing a minus 1. That's what a minus means on the outside is, I want to distribute a minus 1. <clears throat> so that's going to mean minus 1 times x, which is minus x, and then a minus 1 times a minus 2y. Well, you have a minus times a minus, that's a positive. That would be positive 2y. That's what we would get for things such as that. <clears throat> okay? Now, a, uh, another quick example of that, minus parentheses 3x plus 4y minus 2z. Okay? All right, well, <clears throat> same thing, it's uh, minus in front of parentheses, that has to be distributed. Negative distributed throughout. Negative times minus times 3x be minus 3x. Minus times 4y be minus 4y. And then we have minus times minus 2z. Minus 1 times minus 2z, that's going to be a plus 2z. So it does distribute to how many ever terms are on the inside. All right? Okay, well, let's uh, talk uh, a little bit more about combining of the like terms. Um, <clears throat> I combine some of all this here. Yeah, if I have 4x plus 5y plus 7x plus 11y. Well, we're just looking at some where we had x's and y's or two different variables. Here we've got one, but <clears throat> we do know, yeah, we've got uh, some like terms, 4x and 7x. Those are like terms. Um, so we can combine those, combine them by adding the coefficients. 4x and uh, 7x, 4 plus 7 is 11. <clears throat> but of course, yeah, we have the like terms of the y terms there. 5y plus 11y, well, 5 plus 11 is 16. And the variable of there would be staying y. Yeah, so you can have like terms like so. <clears throat> Similarly, 3x plus 8 plus 4x minus 5. Well, we also have some like terms here 3x and uh, 4x, that's 7x. 3 plus 4. 
Uh, but let me talk about these. Uh, these don't have variables, also known as constants. Just numbers without any variables associated with them. Those are called constants. Well, if you have <coughs> terms that are constants, those are like terms. So simply calculate there 8 minus 5, that's 3, positive 3. So if you have variables and constants, combine the constants, combine the variables if they are like. All right. <coughs> Let me try one, uh, one more of this just so uh, I have another example here. Possibly what might happen, might see. Two parentheses, k plus one minus parentheses, k plus ten. All right. Well, this is, of course, combining the uh, things we're just mentioning here. Two times parentheses k plus one. That's got to be distributed. Got to distribute the two inside the parentheses, get rid of the parentheses, first of all here. <clears throat> so 2 times uh, the inside there. 2 times k, 2 times 1, so 2k plus 2. Yeah, like I said, this will come up a lot, just a minus in the front. <clears throat> minus times, uh, minus 1 times 4k is minus 4k, and then minus 1 times 10 be minus 10. All right, and so that is similar to one we just did, 2k and minus 4k. Those are like terms, so we combine those. 2 minus 4 is negative 2. Variable stays the same. 2 minus 10 then, 2 minus 10, negative 8. So we combine the constants. Answer negative 2k minus 8. We can't combine those because they are not like terms. This one's got a k and that one does. So a few quick examples of our algebraic expressions and simplify. 